You're on, boss. All right. What are we going to do? Tap dance? What are we doing? Building an elevator for Goth Loom. Yeah, but this is the skeletal elevator. This thing is rock solid. Why don't you walk us through it real quick, Rowan? These right here, three quarter inch tubing on the sides, got kicker panels right there. The floor mechanism itself is uh, made from an inch and a half square tubing, uh, 316 thick. Solid, solid. And the, the mounting plates for the airbags, I fabricated myself. So we're gonna have a monitor right here. Yep. And we're gonna have a monitor right there. Right there. There, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I feel like a dumbass now. I cut, I cut stuff and then I go and I take it over to my grinder and grind it off. And he's just doing it right there. But this is easier. It works, right? Yes, it does. I never even thought about doing that. See, I already learned something being here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put mounts up here. That's gonna tie in the monitor. We got Jason Nichols here. Hey guys. He's gonna be driving the truck, transporting this puppy for us. I'm a U-Haul. <laughs> So the monitor is going to be up in the ceiling. As it is now. And he's got it up there really good. Even with it locked in, it's not going anywhere. Sweet. The only thing I guess I got to worry about is hopefully the monitor is good enough to handle the shock. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? When we were at Darkness uh -huh. in St. Louis, I went behind the scenes on some of their stuff. It had that exact same monitor. Well, there you go. So, the uh, the Insignia monitor. I was like, yeah, look, they're using cheap stuff too. I'll tell you guys, four foot by four foot by four foot by four foot is a lot bigger than four foot. <laughs> it, just, it doesn't, it looks like it's huge. I didn't think four foot was that big. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but. Cause I, cause I, I had my, I had the drop, you know, the, the uh, spike drop. Yes. It's four foot by five foot. I stood underneath it and I was like, this is gonna, it's gonna be kind of tight, gonna be kind of small, but I think my four foot by five, I'm gonna have to remeasure it. Maybe I made it three foot by four foot or something. See, I don't you need to go cut it down and put it inside your elevator. <laughs> <laughs> have a, there you have go. a spike drop. <laughs> have, have this thing move and the spikes come down and you have people curl up in a ball. <laughs> you ball now, now you were saying. <laughs> Thursday night on Hunter's Hangout that you weren't going to do anything on the roof, just detail. Right. What's this? <laughs> well. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, that's just me noticing that because I'm building this. You were saying that and I'm like, it's of a bitch. We're putting a monitor up here. Well, that's a surprise. See? <laughs> well, they're in a closed room. They can't do anything but look up or to the side. Yeah, they're gonna notice that. They're yeah. gonna notice that. They're gonna lie to everybody except me. <laughs> <laughs> Just talking through that. Hey, those questions were coming in hot, fast and furious. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> That's true. No, I'm just gonna detail. 
on the roof. <laughs> Unless Rollins builds it, then it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. No, you know what I That's said? What, what I said was I wasn't going to have any pneumatics on the roof. No no scare effects on the roof. I didn't say I wasn't going to put a visual projection <laughs> on detail. the roof. detail. I'm just going to detail. <laughs> Let's go on. Well, that's a detail. I'm gonna, de I'm gonna detail the roof. This is all gonna be detailed and look all good and everything with a ripped out hole in the center, where the, where the roof used to be. <laughs> yep, it's done. Home. We will put it together tomorrow because dumbass me <laughs> went off and left some of the bolts. So we need the bolts to bolt in here to the bottom. And when we were taking it apart in a hurry, trying to get here, uh, I left them on the floor along with the piece of plywood that goes here. So, yeah, that's what happens when you. Get in a hurry, get in a hurry tired. and tired, and you stay up late the night before, and all day long, and everything else. But it's here, guys. So there's the bottom. There is the floor piece right there. And there are walls, wall, and roof. So, yeah, it's a little open, but we'll take care of that. We'll, uh, we'll box it all in, and then we'll put some... Uh, some plywood on it on the inside and then we'll build a room around it for safety reasons and then we can finish the floor plan or not finish the floor plan just plan on the floor plan we haven't even figured that out so this is the man right here that that built this in two hours <laughs> I don't know about that, <laughs> but so tell them who you are for those that don't know. Rolla Pickens, the helpful haunter, and so. All right, guys, I'm very, very stoked about getting this here, and uh, it's gonna be a reality. So, got a lot to do, got a long way to go, got a long way to go. Still got to take these apart, got to get that done, get this done. We got our doors going. But this was the key right here. Would you consider this a Halloween prop? It is as of today. And explain. Well, I didn't bleed until today, and I got electrocuted today. So, and you bled on it, right? And I bled on it. So that makes it an official prop. It, it's today. not a Halloween prop until it's bled and on. The whole time I was working on this, I didn't bleed once. Yep. Until, today. until And who was there when you bled? You were. So there you go. It's a Halloween prop. Yep, it's official. Woohoo! So I'm happy. You happy? You happy to get it out of your garage? Out of, out of your garage. I don't have to work on it anymore. I'm sure your wife's happy too. <laughs> she is. She is. All right. Why does he need it in April? <laughs> the hunt's not till October. I gotta give you some props. I'm gonna make you a prop. I'm a dummy. I got it. me a dummy. I, I got to give this man some props here because he hung out all day long. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> he hung out all day long and he carried it home in his truck because it wasn't going to fit in Rollins' van. And it wasn't going to fit in our truck. So, you special know. thanks to Jason Nichols. Is that what they call it? Is that what they call it now? <laughs> From Nichols Manor. If you can't tow, it's not a truck. Right. Yeah, it, it ain't a truck. It, it don't tow. It's made tow. out of plastic and it's so, an... Yeah. Okay. Does, that make, <laughs> yeah. does that make the infinity a truck? Because I can tow. Yeah, you can it. tow and yeah. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Greg's got a truck. Greg's got a truck and I got, and I got a toy over there. They can't tow crap. Yeah, but my truck's very, very cool looking. <laughs> it rides like a car. It is a car. <laughs> So special thanks to both of these guys, Rollin for all the building, Jason for hanging out all day long. Hey, while bitch. We... <laughs> he didn't bitch at all, man. He was awesome about the whole thing. He's going to bitch me out all the way home. I can't believe Don kept me there all day long. Well, I'm going to fall asleep, so I won't hear any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he not going to fall asleep? Yeah, because yeah, it's like, what time is it, guys? It's like 10 o'clock on yeah, Sunday. They gotta drive back to Dallas. So 
let's let these guys get out of here and uh, we'll show you more of this as it's assembled. All right. Rocket.